hey, are you an agent that actually fears knocking on doors? Or can you admit that sometimes that you pull up to a home and hope or wish that they are not home so you don't have to face that anxiety or that fear of rejection? Hey, it's Zach with Life Insurance Academy. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And go ahead and leave us a comment and let us know how we're doing or how else we can help you to give you some more confidence in life insurance sales. So let's hop in. The first thing we need to address is we as agents door knocking, we need to understand the client's fears and apprehensions. We need to know what is preventing them or how does it feel when they have somebody that they've never met before coming up to their door, someone they do not recognize. Sometimes they can feel vulnerable. Sometimes they can feel protective. Sometimes they can feel uncertain or sometimes they can feel even scared. And us being life insurance agents and knowing this, we need to do everything we can to lower this barrier and make our clients feel more comfortable as we're approaching the home. The reason they have this wall built up is simple. They don't know who we are or and they don't wanna feel like they're being taken advantage of in any way. We are strangers to them at the moment. So we need to find a way as agents that are gonna be able to go to the home and address all of these issues to make the client feel comfortable, which then will allow us to be able to present to their family. Now, what we're gonna get if we don't do this, we're gonna get the initial objections such as, I'm not interested, or we already have this taken care of, or possibly now's not a good time. And as agents, we refer to these as objections. And the number one problem that agents face at the door is they're concerned with addressing or facing these objections and thinking that's actually a valid excuse for the client. When reality is, is that's not really the issue that we're trying to face. We need to make sure that we're addressing their concerns of being comfortable to lower the barrier. Not the fact that they may or may not have life insurance. Not the fact that it may or may not be a good time for them or that they're not interested. Of course they're interested. We know they're interested because we have a lead card that they filled out saying that they were interested, expressing interest in this program. So we already know all of those are not valid. But we have to be able to move past that. And the way we move past that is very simple. One is we need to be a genuine person. And what I mean by that is you need to be yourself all the way approaching the home and throughout your sit in the cell. You need to be somebody that's comfortable. If you go up to the home and you're anxious or you're shaky or you're nervous, they're going to feel that when you approach the home. They're going to hear that in your voice when you knock on the door and go through your door knock script. They're going to know and see how comfortable or uncomfortable you are in the home. So we want to be ourselves. And another meaning to that would be, if you're a high energy person, go to the door and be high energy because you're comfortable being high energy. If you're very low energy or low key, go to the door and be low key and low energy because you're comfortable being that way. I don't want you to go to the door and be super high energy if you're not a high energy guy because it's not gonna come off as natural. And vice versa, I don't want you to go to the door with really low energy if you're naturally a very happy and hyper person because it's not going to come off as natural for you. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to smile and be gentle and be carefree. You want to go and approach the door as if you're an Amazon driver, just doing your job, just going through the motions and that nothing matters to you. No matter what objection they can throw at you, no matter what happens, it's not a big deal. You're just going through this because you've done this 2,000 times. So you don't wanna be super reactive to anything they say or any objections you may get at the time. And the other thing is, is to be non-threatening. So when you're at the home, understand your body positioning when you're going to the door. You don't necessarily wanna stand directly in front of them. You sometimes you might wanna get low or you might wanna present and show them the information beside them. You want to do anything you can to not feel um, threatening or transactional and you wanna give them their space so they're comfortable. All of these tips are gonna let them be more comfortable with you, but it's gonna let them lower that barrier that's already there. And one of the last tips that I wanna give you, it's probably the most important, so hopefully you stayed on for this part of the video. But everybody, when you go to the door, everybody has three natural questions in their mind. This is no matter what. And you can, you can sit there and watch this video and think to yourself, but if somebody pulled into your driveway right now that you've never known, that you've never met, and they, they pull up in the driveway and you look out the window, there's three questions that enter your mind. Sometimes you'll say them out loud or you'll just say them in the head, but it's universal. 
If we know what those three questions are, and we can address and answer all three of those questions without the client having to ask them and us as agents losing control, you will win at the door every time. The first question is, they're gonna wonder, who are you? So we wanna address that and let them know who we are. The second question that we need to address is, who are you with? We wanna let them know who we represent and who we're with. And the third question that they're gonna ask in their mind all the time is, why are you here? So we wanna let them know what is our purpose for showing up today? So in summary of that, we wanna let them know who we are, who we're with, and why we're here. And if you want a more detailed training on how these three questions apply to a door knock script and some door knock objections, the actual door knock dance that's gonna allow you to flow and get into every single home, please check us out on lifeinsuranceacademy.org. Listen to our podcast, but we have training videos, more, more in-depth content available as well. We want to see you guys there. So just in summary, if you're an agent that has fear and anxiety about knocking on the doors, understand your client, listen to these steps, know what you're going to say to answer these questions, be a genuine person, make sure you smile and be carefree, be non-threatening, and check out our website. Anything we can do to help you guys, go visit us at lifeinsuranceacademy.org. We have a bunch of training videos, training content. We're gonna bring you more here. We value you guys and we wanna help see every agent succeed. We'll catch you in the next video.